Hello, good evening everyone and welcome to our lesson 4 which happens to be the very first lesson uh, uh, on which happens to be our very first lesson on charts on charts in Excel we have so many different types of of charts from bar charts to pie charts yes a lot of those charts which we can find under the insert uh, insert tab and charts everyone yes so uh, in our last lesson lesson three part two we designed this table so i'm just i'm just going to use our zoom slide button to reduce our data so we can have uh, enough space for some plotting and I'll go ahead and select every useful uh, data by useful data I mean we will eliminate uh, all what we have below and by the side things we will not be needing it and after selecting your entire table you want to ask Excel to print out or to formulate any meaningful charts that can be formulated from our table yes from our table so we go ahead and just press uh, press and hold the alt key function and then press F1 yes and press F1 and then Excel will plot this graphs for us this graph for us which is any a meaningful graph that excel wants to make from uh, the data that we have selected it's true we have a lot of data and it's it's not really visible because of a very high value for so i'm just going to try to edit it so that we can be able to see uh, yes yeah it's quite difficult for us to see it's quite difficult for us to see actually uh, the information on our chat because I we have a lot of information that we selected that, that are displaced in our chat so I'm trying to enlarge so that we can read below here below we have um, student uh, ID number we have students name and then we have student sex and then we have this uh, the color codes which are for the scores of uh, various student yeah, the scores of the various students in uh, their respective subjects, the averages, and so on. So, basically, since um, our the difficulty in our graph is as a result of this two, the difficulty in seeing our graph clearly is as a result of this two payment. So, I want to be, I want to try to eliminate. Uh, the cell for payment from uh, yes the payment cell from our graph so that it can adjust and yes and will be ever great so if we do that you see uh, a lot of changes our graphs has enlarged and now we can be able to see clearly yes we can be able to see clearly some of the information on our graph though is still not very clear so if you want to edit your chart you can go to design you can go to format chart format chart or design and you will be able to select uh, the design you want again okay select your design you select uh, various design or able to select the kind of graph you want like 
change color not necessarily different colors com combination on that change color you can choose different colors combination uh, we can also have this uh, change chart type yes on that change uh, chart type we can choose maybe to have a pie chart instead of yeah we see various different kind of chart that we can be able to have we can equally have a, a bar chart yeah a bar chart and so on line great these are the various kind of charts that we can be able to have from our data but uh, it is worth noting that is very difficult to have any meaningful uh, plots from this since they it is just so many so if we want a clear it's meaningful of course but the clear if we want something that is meaningful we can just want probably plot uh, the student and their mark their mark and maybe up to the point of yeah the students and their mark in a uh, very uh, respective subjects so i will reduce this right up to uh, math physics english yeah mm -hmm. i stop here for the theory and for now good i select those theory you see we have had a lot of reduction in in the number of information that is displayed and if we change our graph graph type we can be able to make meaningful to read meaningful information from there which is feasible enough i think this is quite feasible yes this is quite feasible enough if you notice this is a key of our uh, our chart up here if I click on it, I can be able to enlarge it and make it visible. Can also increase, yeah. So we have the we have our score in maths, physics, and lastly our score in chemistry. For each student, you can be able you can also be able to edit your great can change it to Time New Roman bold and change color as well so that we can be able to see uh, our x-axis the levels on our x-axis we can also change the the max the 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 the, the y-axis change the size so that we can be able to see clearly we can bold it as well Mm. Yeah, can bowl it as well. Okay, and here on your chart to the right of your chart, there is a plus sign where you can be able if you click there you can be able to add your axis when you travel through each leveling it gives you more option you can add the title of your axis if you click on on if you click on uh, axis titles for instance and you go to uh, 
the x-axis right down here you notice there is a very small space that appeared here you can click on it you can un enlarge yeah it's still very difficult to handle because of yeah so I just increase the size and increase again yeah great and we can be we are able we can now level our axis time in Roman can write the uh, student identity and name you notice this is uh, blocking yeah it's blocking the other leveling so you can decide to displace it and put it where it is it will be readable and similarly if you go to the y-axis and like as earlier seen you can copy uh, the characteristics of this and then great we can copy the physical properties of this and click here we'll put the title uh, max on 20 yeah the mag is on 20 you can also displace this as well yes notice when I click on this when I click on this they are selected you can equally change the color of this by double clicking on it choosing formatting uh, fill and when I choose any color it applies to whatever I selected but the, uh, since the color of each uh, subject has to be uniform I need to select all for instance for physics I need to click on one and it selects all for physics and I come here I can be able to change to have a more visible color for physics maybe red can also select mats and decide to give it a black color yeah gonna change that black color since it's, it's interfering with the uh, uh, our label the label of our x-axis yeah or if you, for in emphasis if you wanted to change just the color for a particular student you all you need to do is to double click yeah for that student and it changes just for the particular student yeah changes just for the particular student we can equally uh, add chat title which will appear above chat title yeah as you can see we can uh, as well copy the uh, oh not on score I paste it on something else copy from here chat oh still on score copy mm. still on the legend chat anyway we will move our legend 
yes so that we can be able to have space for uh, our chat title we can write student performance for instance student performance You can equally add uh, data level. Yes, notice when I toggle on data the level, the web, the mark for each student appear on the top. And similarly, I can select one if I select one and increase the size. Increase the size to be visible enough. Change the color, darken, and then bold so that people can be you can be able to read without necessarily having to read across the x-axis i can call it select for physics and do same increase size bow change even the color yes change the color as well mm. a whole lot of things data table data table will bring your excel table right down here an error bar great so those are some of the few things that you can add on your graph on your plotted graph this is just like uh, the f our first lesson on graph and we have like 10 more lessons to cover on uh, chart plotting so by the end of this lesson I believe a lot of us will not have any problem to do to any problem when it comes to uh, plotting of graphs great so that is for using a uh, the plus sign chart element to the right of uh, your chart equally you can do this by simply going to design and on on your left and on your left you have a add chart element here you can select this and do all the additions everything that we have been doing so far using the plus sign appears uh, the appears the so you can do it by using this plus sign or by going to design and choosing uh, add charts element Great. So, if you're particularly interested in uh, charts plotting in Excel, you have to look at uh, our videos, which focuses uh, mainly on charts in Excel. So, lastly, uh, I will look at the print option and the publishing uh, option in Excel print option and publishing option in Excel let's see uh, this very confusing <laughs> graphs that we have plotted is ready to be printed and handed out uh, to the intended audience yeah we are assuming because really there is a lot to be done 
on this graph so but then that's not our primary focus for now so before you print the very first question you are, you need to ask yourself is if your data will be able to fit to your printing page so to uh, check for that you go to file and then print yes file print and then here you have uh, your print preview notice that we just have the only thing we have here is our uh, chart and we don't have the table so we need to go back and find out what is the problem it was just only the chart appeared because that was the only thing uh, which was selected so we can go ahead and yes and deselect that then we go back file print now we you see we have our table on the first page yes continuation of our table and then our chart half <laughs> and lastly another half of our chart so you see if you printed this out it will not really make any sense so we have a few adjustments to make and the first one is uh, we go to page layout select orientation and instead of portrait we let's take a landscape and watch uh, what happens yes landscape you see notice that if you look critically you will see uh, in the, a page so if you see the line cuts across j uh, j the j column meaning if we take print the first page should have uh, right up to the j column here and then another half yes we'll have to appear another half appears and then another and finally this which is still a very far away from being the best scenario yes as i was saying if we look at on our page critically we'll have this dashed line like which this dashed line which defines uh, various pages page one is contained here page two page three and so on page one two three four five great so we need to uh, solve this problem by going to a uh, view the view tab and then switch from normal to page break preview yes here you can clearly see the boundary of each page yeah page one is here and this is uh, page two three four and lastly our page five we can actually hold this blue line and move it either to the left or to the right to find our page one and our page two page one to contain uh, our excel sheet and page two to contain our chart don't bother about the entries of column o i probably changed something uh, a number and it has affected the entry so don't bother about that but then we have fixed our page issue if we switch back now to number and we take file print you see all you have is just two pages the first one with your table and uh, the second with your chart which you can now print out for the intended audience so at this point 
we have our crazy uh, excel sheet and our crazy chart you just need to make sure you define the correct number of copies you want to print make sure you've selected the right printer great and you can go ahead and do the the printing equally we may want to just print a section of our table yes a section of our table like the students uh, mark in class we select that and then when we if we go to file print yes and we have defined the right number in, and then we go to settings on the uh, <coughs> yeah, settings and instead of defining to print active sheet you can decide to print um, the entire workbook or print selection if we uh, take the option of printing selection you see only the uh, selected section of our excel sheet will be printed out great <coughs> great also let me just go ahead and show you this in before that let's deselect the print yes great print yes uh, oh sorry go back and uh, let's select oh shoot okay okay i see file print yes and we change uh, our print select to a print active sheet yes so if we come there is an interesting option on the custom scaling you will click here and we take uh, fit sheets on page it means we actually want excel to print everything uh, on one page notice that everything here come appears on one page but however if you have a very large amount of data it is going to be very small and difficult to read it will be very difficult uh, to read you can change the orientation as well yeah a lot of things so we, we are going to go back uh, to no scaling to have our yeah no scaling notice since i have no printer connected i have a uh, microsoft print to pdf this is very very uh, important when you if you want to convert your excel uh, file into pdf that you can be able to share with uh, you can be able to share with uh, people via email you simply click select print and then input the name of your file choose where to save it and save and it will appear there as a pdf file which you can be able to share with your yes so you now have your pdf that you can be able to share via email another other options sharing option is uh, if you look like to the top right up to the top uh, right you see the share option if you click there you have save to cloud yes save to cloud you can be able to save your your excel file to cloud yes can be able to save it uh, to cloud that you will access and then but since uh, yes but then uh, we are going to see how save to cloud yes so you have uh, you can save in one drive or still save in your pc we will see uh, one drive in microsoft save your document to cloud OneDrive and later on uh, uh, share 
via email. So you can follow our tutorial on OneDrive in Microsoft for more details on this. So another option would be to take the save to use a save as uh, uh, option. Yes, where you choose a folder where you want to save your document and then just below the, the file name that save as type you have different options that you can save your document either as excel presently we are on excel workbook uh, xml data web page yes those are interesting options and then you have uh, below here you have pdf so you can equally convert your excel workbook to pdf and then when you take save you can access your document as a pdf so at this point you have come to the end of your uh, of our master class in excel for beginners so congratulations you are able to perform a lot of tasks in excel and I would like to encourage you to take uh, the next uh, tutorial which is Microsoft uh, Excel for Intermediate and keep on building your skills. Thank you.